What's up, guys? This is Derek, moreplatesmoredays.com. I wanted to do a quick video on androgen receptor downregulation. So this is something that, you know, I used to really wonder myself, and it was hard to get an answer on about if you take anabolics, regardless if for PED, you know, performance enhancing use or for therapeutic reasons for uh, maintaining, uh, you know, high quality of life for TRT, stuff like that. Um, does gear eventually, you know, downregulate the receptor where you need to cycle off it to resensitize the receptor in order to make it work better when you use it again? So first of all, obviously this typically isn't an option for guys on TRT because they're using it to maintain levels that they otherwise would not endogenously be able to achieve. So sort of, you know, a bit less relevant for that particular application. But as far as receptor downregulation, it doesn't happen. When you train and engage in resistance training or you take, you know, performance enhancing drugs, let's just say, you know, like testosterone, because that's like the therapeutic thing that's like accepted it's like uh you know has medical applications so it's easier to talk about in like a youtube friendly context when you take your trt do your androgen receptors upregulate? they don't downregulate. and what happens after that point is your body actually increases myostatin to inhibit you from gaining more muscle than you should the mechanism by which your body is you know inhibited from just gaining absurd amounts of muscle is not your androgen receptors are becoming desensitized to the testosterone that you're using rather it's your body's endogenous uh, production of myostatin is going up in order to counteract and prevent you from gaining stupid amounts of muscle because the body has a counteracting mechanism for every single thing like you you know you take in carbs you release insulin to bring down your blood sugar you you know you do this something else happens it's a uh, it's all like a balancing act. So if you're gaining amounts of muscle that are just making you unhealthy and and by unhealthy, like a lot of guys don't realize the cardiovascular stress, having huge amounts of muscle puts on the body, your body's fighting back to keep that muscle off you. And it does this through one of the mechanisms. Perhaps the main mechanism is myostatin. And this is why when you have guys like Flex Wheeler who have shown, you know, gene mutations that literally... Uh, keep the myostatin in their body extremely low, they have a greater number of muscle fibers than the average human. And this is literally the reason why you eventually, you know, on a cycle or on your TRT, you make, you know, great progress for however many, you know, months or weeks. And then it seems to just plateau for seemingly no reason. The common um, protocol at this point that a lot of, you know, like coaches and gurus recommend is, oh, you have to swap compounds because your body's used to the compound. It's like, obviously you don't have to swap from like testosterone to some other random unapproved drug now because you're on, you're on TRT and your body like stops using the test properly at week eight. Like it's not how it works. You'll note your, everything keeps functioning correctly on that testosterone for the duration of time you use it. But the muscle itself is what's inhibited. Like, I'm sure guys on TRT for decades plus will attest to their libido doesn't doesn't just crash and stop working at week eight. And that's because what's mediated through androgen receptor activation is irrelevant to the reason you're not putting on more muscle. So the androgen itself and the androgen receptor are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. The testosterone is binding. It's exerting, you know, anabolic and androgenic functions in the body via androgen receptor activation. The androgen receptor works just fine. The problem is your body increases myostatin to pre prevent you from gaining more muscle than it wants you to. I'm going to post a graphic and uh, I want to credit Victor Black with this study. Uh, he's the one I found it from. Um, it shows after 29 days of administration of either testosterone or trenbolone myostatin protein levels were 197% higher in the uh, castrated and testosterone group and 209% higher in the castrated and trend groups when compared to the placebo so it's not like the efficacy of the drugs are not you know they're diminishing or whatever the androgen receptor is down regulating rather it's that myostatin goes up once it realizes oh my god there's this you know amount of androgens in the body that are supporting muscle growth above and beyond what's healthy for us so let's increase myostatin to prevent that from happening so what do you do in that scenario that's something 
to be left for, you know, future research and development, because right now there are no myostatin inhibitors that are approved for human use or even have any human trials on them. You know, some guys want to talk about YK, YK11, but obviously there's like no data except on a cellular level in like not even animal studies. So obviously don't just go, you know, randomly shoving that in your body because it's not a good idea. You know, I think that's the future in terms of, uh, you know, bodybuilding, you know, pharmacology and stuff in like the next hundred years. That's probably going to be the main pathway by which, you know, new extreme developments come out and allow bodies to exceed what they naturally do because androgens only take you so far. Myostatin kicks in and prevents people from getting too big. And that's just how it works. Androgen receptors do not downregulate. So, you know, if you're on TRT from your doctor prescription, you don't need to like go off your prescription and then jump back on your prescription to make it work. So just keep that in mind. Hope that was informative. Hope you guys liked it. Um, check out my blog, more plates, more dates.com like the video comment. Um, if you have any, uh, you know, other useful, relevant data that, um, we might benefit from seeing comment below. That'd be much appreciated. Check me out on social media, more plates, more dates on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, etc. Talk to you guys soon.